Welcome to Math 212. This is Calculus, uh, Brief Calculus Online. I'm going to walk you through the setting up of the Math AS system for your and your account, how it's been set up. Now, the very first thing you're going to need to know is your username and password. Your username um, for you is your first name underscore last name. So, for example, my name is David Dwork. So, if I was a student, this is how they would have set up my account. Uh, capitals, not capitals, doesn't matter, it's not case sensitive. And then your password is the word password, literally password, uh, lowercase p. So go ahead and type in your username being your first name underscore last name and then down here in the password area you're going to type in password. I just can't show you that because it comes up as little dots. Okay, so go ahead and sign in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign in as my student account. And now when you log in, you should see something that looks like this. So now that we're logged in, um, we want to change your password because everybody knows what it is. So you'll notice up here in the top right hand corner, the very first thing we're going to do is go change password. In here, you'll enter your old password, which is password. And then you can change it to anything new that you want. So go ahead and do that. Hit submit. Um, and just remember, anytime on any of these videos, uh, if you need to pause the video, rewind the video, do whatever you need, give yourself more time. Um, so if you think I'm moving too quickly, just pause it. Um, okay, so now that you've changed your password, you should be back at the screen. I would also highly recommend going in and changing your user info. Um, now your first name and last name, please leave those alone because they need to match what's in the, the um, system in the SIS because I have to award a grade to the same person who's taking the course. It makes it much harder if you change your name. Um, as far as your email address, you must use your Maricopa email. Um, we have to do all communication through there, so please leave that alone. Just make sure you che check the email that's in here. If there's a typo or something with that email, you go ahead and correct it. Um, and then I would highly recommend notify me by email when I receive new messages. Make sure this is checked. Uh, also, I would check all these things. What these are saying is um, when someone posts a note or posts a message or posts something in the forum on your main page here, they will show up. So you'll see them right when you log in. Um, the other thing is make sure you're on the Phoenix time zone. So that way you're, everything looks appropriate. The, the time when it says something's due at 11.59, it's actually due, makes sense. It's due at your actual time zone. If you're traveling, you can absolutely change your time zone. Um, so that way, you can see local time when things are due and then just make sure after you make your changes you click update info if you don't do that nothing gets saved okay so now that we've done that uh, the next thing I want to do is just show you a brief how the class is laid out you'll notice the very first thing you see here in the main the main body here is your announcements in here every week you should look for what you're supposed to be doing um, so check there Open discussions. This is just a discussion forum where if you have a question or you want to post something open to the class, I also check there as well. Uh, but you can post anything you would like in there. This is for you. Um, nothing's graded in there. Next, um, I think this usually starts closed. So just notice this is syllabus, written homework, and solutions. In here, you'll find your OneNote Classroom Notebook link um, if your class is using that. You will you find your syllabus and answers to the book problems. These are not necessarily odd answers. I think it's probably better to call them random answers. It could be all over. So when you're doing book work, make sure you check those for your to make sure you're doing the work right. Um, now, we're getting into the material. Chapter one is review, so I'm gonna skip over that. Chapter two, this is the basic layout. I have the first couple sections open so you can see. Um, what it looks like here is when you click out in section 2.1, your objectives for the section. The, section, the textbook, so if you click on this, it'll open up a PDF of the textbook where you can then go through. And then notes to fill out. Now, so these are notes that you should be able to do um, when you understand the material. Now, there's also here in the next section a video. Now, in this video, this is what I normally do in class. You'll notice this kind of looks similar to this, doesn't it? Hmm. <laughs> so, as you're, you're, you, if you want, you can watch my videos. I'd highly recommend, actually. It wouldn't be an if you want. J just watch the videos. Um, it's like sitting through a lecture with me, and you can fill out the notes as you go. Then here, this is a homework section. Every time you see a little pencil and paper, that's homework. So when you click into here, you'll notice it brings up the homework for that week. 
last but not least, um, the books, the book section also has homework problems at the end, has book problems at the end. Um, so I just want you to know where all your resources are for this. Um, so for navigating the class, that's your basic layout. You've got your objective for each section, the textbook for each section, the notes are located in there, um, and then videos that help you fill out the notes, math AS homework, and then you go back to book problems to do um, book work. Finally, if you would like, instead of doing section by section breakout of the book, there are complete chapters. So if you wanted to, this is just the entire chapter two. Um, me personally, I would rather look at the individual sections, but just so you know, that's where they are. Um, so if, just as far as navigating the class, that's the basic layout. You'll notice on the left hand side, um, you have a calendar where if you click on the calendar, it'll show you what things are due when, so you can make sure um, you, you don't miss a deadline. Last, there is the gradebook, where when you click on that, it'll bring up your grades in the class, your own personal grades, and you can see how things are progressing. Note, uh, there are three different grades in the class. The key one you want to be watching for is just this past due. Um, the past due shows you a grade in the class of everything that you can no longer work on. The other ones are little not needed, um, but the past due and attempted says if you've started working on assignment, this is what your grade would be. And then just everything, for whether you worked on it or not, this is just your grade if you just quit the course right now. Um, so essentially, really, past due is the only one that, that it's the traditional grade that students are used to looking at. So, so look at that one. Um, let me see. And then last but not least, especially if you're working in a public computer, make sure you log out whenever you're done. You don't want anybody to have access to your computer. And last but not least, if you log in and you notice things aren't quite displaying right, you, you, the problem references a graph, but you're seeing a table of value, something goofy. You'll notice down here, um, if you're experiencing gra graphing issues, use forced image-based display. So you change it to that and then just log in like normal. Um, but typically I like to use the defaults and if you run into something, an issue, please let me know which problem is having the issue uh, and I will try to recode the question opposed to having you have to switch your display. All right, I hope this is helpful and please uh, move on to the next video.